a near tragedy in the gym. I'm Glenn Virgi from Virgi Conditioning and Health. Today I want to share with you a story, uh, a very sad story I experienced many years ago when I was working out at the UFC when I was a student. Uh, a young man came in the gym and he thought he would try and lift as much as he possibly could to figure out what his max lifts were so then he could design a program to help himself get stronger. So he loaded up 500 pounds on the leg press, safely obviously, and he pushed it out. It was, it was a struggle for him, but he got it up one repetition and then he got off, took the weights off, and he figured he could do the same amount of weight on the squat rack. So he put the bar up, loaded five plates aside, he had 495 pounds, and as he proceeded to barely lift the bar off, as soon as he bent his knees, he dropped like a sack of potatoes and it crushed him. Now, the reason why I say this is a tragedy is because he almost broke his back, crushed himself. He could have perhaps, it could have been fatal. And the only thing that saved him was the safety mechanism in the squat rack, the guardrails that sit along the bottom were just high enough that he didn't drop too far and the weight didn't crush him. Now, this of all could have been avoided if A, he had been a little bit, a little bit more educated in the weight room in terms of proper technique, understanding load and intensity, if he would have asked a trainer for help or a floor supervisor for help, or if he would have had a buddy there spotting him. So it's very critical that if your son or daughter decides it's time for them to go and get stronger in the weight room, A, they have to understand proper technique. Without proper technique, your son or daughter has no business lifting heavy weights. Understanding the safety mechanism with, with whatever apparatus or machine they're using. There always has to be a safety mechanism in place. Three, they must be with a supervised coach if they're under the age of 16. And four, if they're gonna to decide to lift heavy, they must have a spotter. And the spotter must be experienced and know exactly what they're doing because an inappropriate spotter may still, may still there still could be a tragedy if the spotter doesn't know how to lift or where to pull or where to place themselves properly. So again, unfortunately, it was a tragedy that was avoided due to a safety mechanism. Luckily for that young man, he's okay. But I want you to keep in mind for your son or daughter, you've got to make sure that they've got those four things in place I mentioned before, making sure they have the correct technique, understanding maximal load and intensity, making sure they have supervision, and making sure they have a spotter. If you found some of, these some of this information helpful, sign up for our newsletter at virgiconditioning.com. Thank you very much. My name is Glenn Virgie.